Hello there, Above Average fam. I am Above Average Cody, and welcome into a bit of a different Pokemon opening. No specific product we are opening today, but we are going to go through nearly all of the Sword and Shield sets today and see if we can really pull a hyper rare uh something good hopefully something secret or at least something worth a couple bucks uh, i think we have every set here except for champion's path which was more of a special set anyways and battle styles because somehow with all the battle styles i've been running into uh i do not have any laying around but we do have sword and shield we have two rebel clash the second set we have one, two, three, Darkness Ablaze, the third set. Again, no Champs Path, and then it went Vivid Voltage. We do have two of those. I had to go heavy on the Shining Fates for us. We got four Shining Fates, no Battle Styles, and we have one Lonesome Chilling Rain Pack. Of course, didn't want to go too heavy with the Chilling Rain with how dirty uh, it has been doing me uh, being a new set and not giving me any Secret Rares. Let's just shuffle those up a little bit. And we're pretty much going to get right into it, guys. Be sure to subscribe down below. We do openings twice a week. Uh, we've been mixing it up with some Magic the Gathering. You could see some Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghosts from the Past hiding back there. That video will be coming at some point. And then next to it, that's one of the new uh, V-Tins that are now hitting stores. I think they came out a while ago, but we haven't seen any. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get into a pack. But again, be sure to subscribe and leave a like while you are down there. We open these all the time. And Thursday's video, guys, I may as well tell you now, we're actually going to be getting into the new Digimon TCG. I was able to get some special release packs, so we will see if we can get anything good from there. It'll just be fun to do something a little bit different. So, to start off, our Sword and Shield Bonanza. Again, a Shining Fates pack. We have an Electric Energy, a Floatzel. It feels so long, despite how much Shining Fates we did trying to pull the Charizard, which we did here on the channel. Feel free to go find that video in the Pokemon playlist. Team Yell Towel. Tropius, Cacnea the Walking Cactus, Q Fant the Cute Elephant, Buizel, Spinarak, Shinx, Galarian Weezing Reverse Hollow, and starting it off with a full art ball guy. Remember how bad I wanted this card when I didn't have it now that I've pulled it two or three times? But the reason I wanted to do this video so bad is going back and just seeing the artwork from past sets. This one obviously not being long ago, but having like Sword and Shield and Darkness Ablaze, like you just don't get that set all the time now. It's just really fun to go back to it. It almost feels like a new set. And of course, got my trusty sleeves here to sleeve and give you guys the satisfaction. So we're starting off good. It feels like forever since I've seen a full art too. We got another Shining Fates here, we're ripping through half the Shining fates right off the bat so let's see if it is is as good to us on the second time as it was on the first time there is the code card of course we always give out the code cards on this channel because i don't play the online tcg so if that's enough of a reason for you to subscribe i don't know what is you code card hunters thwacky cramorant rotom cacnea again q fan again right behind him oh we're going back to back packs here with very similar uh commons shinx Reverse all the floats in this one. Oh, and a more Peko V. And again, Shining Fates definitely spoiled us because of the pull rate. And then we go back to sets like Battle Styles and Chilling Rain. Everybody's like, where are all the pulls? Guys, the pull rates are not always this high. But let me tell you, I am liking it so far in this video. I'm liking the Shining Fates. And now we are going into a Sword and Shield base set pack with the lovely VMAX Lapras on the front. Again, it's just so fun to go back to past sets that you haven't uh absolutely beaten to death like battle styles and chilling rain even shining fates a little bit just so sick of seeing the artwork because i've opened so much consecutively through booster boxes and things like that so it literally almost feels like a new set sword and shield base set coming at you ordinary rod bidet or bead i pronounce bidet because it's funnier that way reboot sizzlipede hanging on the tree branch galarian zigzagoon Muna with the little like threaded plushie. Snom, not on the park bench this time. Grookey scratch his head with the stick. Reverse Hall of Vitality Band. And Galarian Rapidash, a lovely rare card, but not hollow or anything like that. We are coming back down to earth from the two for two. Shining Fates pulls onto a Rebel Clash. This was the second Sword and Shield set to come out right after Sword and Shield base set. There's the code card. Four cards to the front for all Sword and Shield sets. Starting off with a Psychic Energy, Luxio, Dracloak, Tranquil. Again, we're even seeing Pokemon we haven't really seen too much in recent sets. Galarian Corsola, Toxel, Galarian Mr. Mime, 
Snover, that's kind of some cool artwork. I don't remember that one. Looking at the footprint, wondering who was there. Pie Dove, Reverse Hollow Wingle, and behind it, a Galarian Runner, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Uh, scary ghost casket thingy, but uh, again, not quite what we're looking for. Onto a Vivid Voltage pack with Zarud on the front. Vivid Voltage even had quite high pull rates for being a regular set, but it really just had so many. It had so many hyper rares, so many trainer cards, so many amazing rares, just so much cool stuff to pull from Vivid Voltage. Obviously, the main hunt is the Rainbow Chonkachu, but the chance of getting it just from the two packs in this video are very low, so don't get your hopes up. Carolus, Stone Energy, E Electric, the Electric Eel, Picky Peck, Poochiena, Rock Rough with the Fleas, Blitzel, Skiddo, Reverse Hollow Aracuda, and an Aegis Slash VMAX. One of the more common VMAXs, but hey guys, it's just nice to see this many pulls in one video because we went ice cold in the chilling rain uh, booster box and things like that. Kind of struck out with those for the most part. But we are doing quite well this video with three pulls already and a stack of packs to go. Both the Vivid Voltage are sticking themselves back to back and I will not argue with the order that the shuffle gave us. So we are going to get right back into another vivid voltage if i can get it open without destroying the corners of the cards there is the code four cards to the front water energy mightyena trumbeak hitma on top voltorb rock rough again wismer crying a river trubbish tynamo reverse all yanma and yan mega the back-to-back -back evolution series there we go now on to a darkness a blaze which was the set right after rebel clash this was the set that had just come out i believe right when oh there we go the code card is flipped around right when i was getting back into opening cards and doing it for videos psychic cape of toughness spike Muth, parasect dino q fan that's some lovely artwork looks really cool with like the light or the rain shining through the clouds wishy-washy more low the mushroom pan seer reverse hollow feebass stuck out in the middle of the water oh and a galarian slow bro v very nice i wasn't too confident with that pack for uh for reasons but that is a lovely pull right there glad to see it and again we are doing very well guys in this video i am not complaining at all it has been quite some time onto another darkness ablaze and all three of the darks ablaze are back to back so i'm going to do a little more shuffling there i lied i am going to going to adjust the hand we were dealt with the shuffling there pull this out code card flipped around again i might have hid that last letter from you i'm not playing that game i don't think we have that many people hunting the code cards here dark energy these cards feel weird maybe it just slid weird laron poltegeist calm buskin Larvesta, Spinarak, Squovet, Rowlet, Centret, Reverse Holotoxel, and Hydrogen, the non hollow rare dragon three headed monster thing. Next up in the order, because I put it there, we have a Shining Fates. Our second to last Shining Fates pack, if I'm keeping count correctly. Shining Fates, not exactly technically a Sword and Shield set. It came out in the Sword and Shield era, but it is technically a special set, so it didn't have any booster box or anything, and it does not say. Sword and Shield on the front. Psychic Energy, Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Ball Guy holding his head, coughing, Shinx, Grookey, Trap Inch, Yanma, Reverse Holotropius, and Manaphy, uh, a dud Shining Fates pack, which does happen, but that's okay because we still have four packs to go, including this one, so Darkness Ablaze we will get back into and these videos are fun i hope i get more opportunities to just have a mixed bag of packs because it's just kind of fun going going through random packs water energy simapore to go with the water rose shinotic rookity tauros snubble marith pansy reverse hollow gothita and a swana non hollow rare Got three packs left. Hopefully, don't go too icy cold to finish off the video. Here we have a Rebel Clash pack with Inteleon on the front. That is resilient. There we go. We are into it now. 
code card for y'all. Flip her around. We got a fire energy. Oh, Phalynx to start off. Palpitoad. Capture energy. Galarian Cursula. Litwick. It's Litwick. One of my favorites. Shinx. Roly Coley. Appalin. Reverse Hollow Trubbish. And Zamazenta. A lovely card, but nothing too, too special or valuable about it. Final two packs. We got Shiny Fates. And then somehow the Chilling Rain stayed on the back. So the newest set will be our final pack of the video. And again, guys, we will have Single Shelf at the end. And the friendly reminder that Digimon TCG coming on thursday for the opening video also a couple pokemon packs will be thrown in there because i do not have a lot of the new digimon set to open rusted sword eldegoss dartrix coughing horsey grookey morpeko spinarak oh baby shiny cramorant i do not remember if we already have this one but as always with shining fates Love to see some new baby shinies. I have an expansive collection of them already with how much we opened. But uh, that's a lovely pull right there. Can we go double pull? We cannot. We have the the dreaded Dreadnought. But still, we will accept the baby shiny as a fantastic pull and add it to the pull pile right there underneath Snorlax's armpit. And now, final pack of the video before we get into single shelf. We have Chilling Rain, the most recent set that is absolutely bombarding the shelves while we wait for the highly anticipated Evolving Skies to come out towards the end of August. August 27th, I believe, is the release date, or if not, at least around there. Final pack of the video, Fighting Energy, Single Strike, Scroll of Piercing, Avery, Thwacky, Venipede, Snover, Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Snow Runt, Reverse All Echoing Horn, and Bayonet, non haul I would have been more shocked if we got a pull from Chilling Rain with how bad my luck has been. But uh, there we go, final card of the video. And now it is time for Cody's single shelf. Uh, the segment where I show you guys a single that I've added to the collection off camera. This one, I literally just bought it yesterday. I was super pumped. Haven't even had time to hard sleeve it or put it in a regular sleeve. This is the sleeve it came in. Uh, flip her around. It is a lovely Pikachu promo from early on in the Sword and Shield era. An appropriate card for this uh, mixed Sword and Shield video. Uh, $44, obviously the price I paid, price on screen. I'll take it out and show you guys the condition since it's not hard sleeved or anything. This was the 20th promo. It's just crazy because I think we're on promo 150 and pass now. But such an awesome card. That's why it's held so much value. It has a little scuff on the corner, which I hated to see, but I really wanted this card and a little bit of whitening up in the top left corner. But uh, just had to have it. Haven't run into the card yet, and I did not open the set that this came out of. Because again, it was early in Sword and Shield. I started opening again with Darkness Ablaze was the new set. Some lovely Hall of Foil, and obviously the three starters, Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble behind Pikachu. Just a really awesome card overall and i loved it so i had to have it and there it is figured i'd show it to you guys for single shelf this week but uh we did okay with the polls in this mixed bag video guys let me know if you what you thought of the video and if i should do more like this but uh that wraps it up overall i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh stay happy stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video and digimon coming on thursday